All right, <clears throat> Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Before I start this lesson, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahusha, Bahashim, Kakudash. I'm the brother Tazamaka Moth, coming from the camp, prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I'm going to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach the truth and well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect that scattered abroad. <clears throat> and today we're going to go into America and its history was never for us, but for our punishment. Why Israel can't get that through their thick ass skull? And I have this uh, TikTok clip, okay, um, where T.I. goes in on, on Eve, man. Eve is mentally gone. Our people is mentally gone as a whole. But our women, bro, our woman always wants to justify, or well, I should say our people always want to justify Esau. Oh, let's just forget about it. Let's this and that. But no, that's not the case. We can't just let it bri we can't let it just breeze by. Okay? When you go to Isaiah 14. Verse 21, it says, Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Okay? Esau so-called white race as a whole have not has not um got justice for what they done to the nation of Israel okay and we come back every 3 to 4 generations all right they're going to be put in chains they're going to be put in slavery man all right prepare slaughter for the children for the iniquity of their fathers we are our fathers but Esau has not paid for the iniquity of their fathers Right? It says that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, say Yahweh of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, say Yahweh. Now, why is the Lord only cutting off the son and the nephew? It's because the man holds the seed. Okay? The man holds the seed, so he takes out the uh the men. He's taking out the uh he's taking out the whole the whole race, okay? Because they will not be able to reproduce. So when you go to this um video that I'm about to play, you can see how destroyed our people are. When you say make America great again, which period are we talking about? The period when women couldn't vote? The period when we were hanging from trees? I'll answer. Or, or, or like the crack era? Which period in America are you trying to I, make America I would, like So I, I actually think that I would, I would totally rock a hat right now that said make black America great again. Because black no, America, make America before, we're talking about make America. Hat, that wasn't no, the question. I, answer, I am answering which your question. Which period was America great that we're trying to replicate? Well, I, which era was it? Tell me. I think I'll answer your question. Tell I'm me. I'm afraid to answer your question. Which era was it? What? Which era was so great? You, here's the thing that you guys are forgetting. America was actually one of the first... Slavery was all over the world. The all question. over the world. America was... I'm not, I'm not saying it's okay, so why are you saying, oh? Amen. America was one of the first countries. I want to like you so bad. I'm trying you're to so answer your question. I want right, to like you so much. I can't answer the question. I want to hear you. I want to be able to hear them. If, 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 I want to be I able to hear them. If I can't answer the question and you're just going to boo when I say a, a slavery was all over the world, which is a fact, why are you booing a fact? Finish because you're point. making light of... No, I'm not. You're making light I of the enslavement of making... people that look like us. You can't all make right. light of that. That ain't nothing you breathe over. I haven't even over. finished the sentence. How am I making light of anything? You started with some boo... Make America great again. My comment is, do you, do, you, do you accept that that could possibly be construed as a racist remark? And most people, a lot of people go, how could that be racist? Make America great again? I, I said, so just ask yourself from, from an African-American experience, when was it ever great 
in America for the African American? When was it great? So if you're making it great again, it's not including them. So uh, what she was trying to say and did say eventually is that America was one of the first countries uh, to, she said, free our ancestors. Uh, nope, it was one of the last. So uh, it's just revisionist history. And then the question is, why? Why are you doing revisionist history? Because that money is real nice, right? Okay. Now, when you go. Let me go right here. When you go right here to Zechariah chapter 2, verse 8, it says, For thus saith Yahweh of hosts, it says, After the glory have ye. Have he sent me unto the nations which spoiled you? So who spoiled us? As a whole, every nation that, all right, let's actually grab that. Every nation spoiled us, the nation of Israel. We was in captivity to all these different nations. But mainly who did us the worst was Esau. Okay, he says, for he that touch of you, touch of the apple of his eye. Now let's go to... When you go to First Maccabees chapter two verse ten, what nation have not had a part in her kingdom and gotten of her spoils? Okay. What nation have not gotten and spoiled the nation of Israel? The Lord sent unto nations to spoil us, man. We've been a different many captivities, but Esau done us the worst, man. Esau Edom done us the worst. Okay, and for her to justify, you know, are people going to, are people going to slavery? It shows you how destroyed we are. Okay, let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 28. The curses. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which Yahweh shall send against thee. It says, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, until he have destroyed thee. Okay, and Esau Edom has done that. He's the one that took us from one land to another, that put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Let's actually show you. We on Google, right? Yoke of iron. Where's it show you? Show you so called Negroes, man. Okay. Look at this. We fit, we fit the curses, man. We fit these curses. All right. We fit these curses. So when you go to read it again, it says, Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. Okay, so we got to go to the devil for everything that we want here in America. And it says, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until I've destroyed thee. And he destroyed us in our mind. Okay, we we still slaves to this day in our captivity, man. Okay, reading on, Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth. A nation whose tongue thou should not understand, because we were speaking Hebrew, okay? And they beat us so bad that, you know, we had to follow their, you know, their uh, ways of life, okay? 
when you look at the back of a dollar bill, you see a back of a dollar bill, you see an eagle. Okay, you see an eagle. All right. And it says, Yahweh shall bring a nation against you from far. All right. From the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth. A nation's tongue who, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. And when Christopher Columbus came, he had brought Hebrew interpreters. Okay. To translate. Because they knew, you know, they knew we spoke, we spoke Hebrew, not their language. Verse 50. And it says, a nation of fierce countenance, which shall, it says, but shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. And we was in slavery, okay, hey, they didn't care. They didn't care, hey, they put us to work, man. When you go to Joel, the third chapter, okay. And it says, Behold, I will raise them out of your place. Uh, so like Joel 3 and 7. It says, Behold, I will raise them out of their place, whether ye have sold them, and will return your recompense upon your own head. And it says, And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people far off, and Yahweh has spoken it. Okay, so hey, we've been hey, our sons were sold, our daughters were sold. Okay, we we hey, this part of the curses, man. We didn't get to enjoy our children. Okay, old and young, man, we work to death, even till this day. Old and young work to death, man. All right. When you jump down to verse sixty-eight, and it says, "And Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships." Okay, now we was already on one side of the earth. Okay, Egypt just means bondage. Okay, so Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way thereof, whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. Okay, in the video you had. In the clip under it, you know, you know, all these people, you know, it could be, um, you know, like uh, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, whosoever, man. But nobody could buy us out of this predicament that we in because the Lord had put us in this. The Lord is the only one that could redeem us out of it. Okay. You gotta, you gotta remember that we, hey, we was in, we in this position because of our disobedience I told you how about shim y'all shy uh, give me a sec okay now let's show you that not only the negroes were in enslaved but the northern kingdom was as well It says Jeremiah 50 and 33. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts. So like it says. Jeremiah 50 and 33. Thus saith Yahweh of hosts. The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. The children of Israel is the northern kingdom. You know, the Latin tribes, the native uh, so-called Native Americans. Okay. The children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together. Jude Children of Judah would be the southern kingdom, you know, the so-called Negroes, um, you know, the Benjamin, uh, Benjaminites and uh, Levites, okay, which would be today your your Haitians and uh, your Jamaicans, West Indians, I should say. And it says the children of Judah were oppressed together. So Israel and Judah were oppressed together. We was enslaved together. All right. And it says and all that took them captives, held them fast. They refused to let them go. And what that reminds you of, 
That reminds you of the time that we was in Egypt. When Moses was telling Pharaoh, let my people go, let my people go. And they refused to let them go. Okay, until the Lord came came down and, sh and showed his power. Okay, he hardened Pharaoh's heart to ultimately show his power. And that's the same that's happening today. Nothing new is under the sun. How about Shemuel Shai is going to come show, you know, America his power once again on a whole nother scale. Way bigger than the time of Egypt. That's why majority of us are on this side, man. To show the, how big the, this deliverance is going to be. Okay. Let's go to Micah chapter 2. Micah chapter 2 verse 10. And it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Alright, we don't have rest here in America. This is not our rest here. And it says, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. Everything about this place of America is wicked. It's desperately wicked. It's, it's upside down. Everything is backwards. All right, this is not our rest here. Why should we get comfortable here? No, we should be standing up, ready to get the fuck out of here. Because our, our, our salvation is nearer than when we believe, man. And the faster our salvation comes, man, when the Lord comes back, the faster we get out of here and, and live in righteousness, man. Because this is not life. Okay? Life does not abide here. Okay? what Life for them is, is for the, uh, the white race, man. They get to travel. They get to jog in the morning. They don't have to work. They live in these big-ass houses. They don't pay taxes. They don't do all this stuff, man. Okay? They, this is their kingdom. This is not our kingdom. We, we're suffering for a reason, okay? We have to go through this for a reason because of our disobedience. Let's go to um, Exodus chapter 21 because I had quoted it earlier. Might as well just grab it. Exodus 21 and 16. It says, And he that stealeth a man and selleth him or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. And so when, hey, this is what's happening. This is what's happening today. When Yahweh Shai comes back, he's going to find the elect still in Esau's hand. Still in his land that he's been put in. Okay? And guess what the Lord's going to do? Put the whole race of uh, Edomites to death, man. By burning them up. The same thing he did with ancient Egypt. Okay, he's gonna put them to death because they've been found. We've been found in their hand. The Esau Edom has has stole us and took us from one land to another, man, and sold us. Okay, as on auction blocks. You think the Lord is pleased with that? Hell no. Let's go to Daniel the seventh chapter. All right, go down to verse twenty-five. And it says, and he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. Okay? Esau Edom wears us out. When you go to saints, just mean Israelites. Um, let's, let's see if I can prove that. Give me one second. When you go to uh, Psalms 148, go down towards the last verse. Psalms 148 and 14. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even, the, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye Yahweh. So the saints are the Israelites. But when you go back, Daniel 7, 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. This is Esau we're talking about. And he shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And think to change times and laws, which he does. And they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and dividing of time. Alright, let's look up this word where. Okay. It says to harass constantly. To harass 
constantly. So when Esau, when it says wears out, wear out the saints of the Most High, is to harass us constantly. All right, during the time of civil rights, hey, they were harassing us. Okay, they were continually harassing us, man. Having segregation and all this stuff, man. Okay, they were harassing us constantly. To wear us out, and and they do that today. What do the, what do the police do? They harass you. Oh, can you get out? Can you step out the car? Oh, it smells like weed. Oh, can you do this? Can you do that? Can you do this? Can you do that? Your boss say, Oh, you you haven't finished the work. Can you can you come in? You know what I'm saying? Harassing us, man. We don't have rest here. We got pockets full of holes. Okay, we can't enjoy our time. Hey, because we know this is not our kingdom. This is not our captivity, bro. But what? Wait until Yahusha comes back. We're going to enjoy our time. We're gonna, it's because it's going to be an everlasting kingdom. It's going to be an everlasting kingdom for us. And we're going to enjoy it. Okay? Let's go to uh, the book of Nahum. Chapter 3. Because how was America founded? Alright, by blood. Nahum <clears throat> This is the book of Nahum, chapter 3, verse 1. Woe to the bloody city. Okay, woe, when you go to the word woe, it means destruction, right? To the bloody city. How is America founded? By blood, man. By violence. Okay? Hey, they, they slaughtered the Native Americans here. They they beat us to a crisp. They lynched us. All right? They made mockery of us. Let's actually look it up, man. Hey, because... Yahweh Bashim is a is a, is a judge, right? Hey, what's the best what's the best thing to have during the time of court? Audio and pictures. Okay. Audio and pictures, man. You think the Lord forgot this? Okay. You think the Lord forgot this? This is gathering the fucking devils, man. You think they, do you think they're not gonna pay for that? You think they're not gonna pay? Trust me, man. You think they're not gonna pay? You gotta remember, man. It, hey, this was us back in the, in the day, man. A whole valley full of devils watching you to die on on the tree. Okay, to get lynched, to get scoffed, to get mocked at. To get laughed at, man. Okay? When you go to KKK, what do you see? The same thing. They they hate they hate the Negroes. Okay? Everything is everything here is against us. They hate us here. Okay? Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery, right? Because America was, was all full of lies and robbery. They lie about everything. When they signed that uh, Declaration of Independence in 1776, that was not for us. That was for them. That was for them. We're, we're still counted three-fifths of a man. All right? It says, it is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. Okay? Let's jump down to verse 4. It says, Because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, which is America. In Revelation, it talks about the harlots. Okay? Which will be will symbolize America, man. The well-favored harlot is America. Okay? Hey, because it tells you how the beast shall hate the whore. The whore rise on the beast. This is America, man. It says... Because the, the beast um is an, will be consists of the NATO and the EU, man. But let's read. It says, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts that selleth nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts, okay? America ha does nothing but witchcraft through your media, <coughs> through, your, uh, through your different brands. Okay. All right, this all witchcraft. You 
got Disney and this witchcraft, right? They're not gonna show you that shit, man. But hey, it's all it's all symbolism. Everything is symbolism. It, it's in there. Okay. All right. It says the mistress of witchcrafts that sell of nations through her whoredoms and families through her witchcrafts. Okay. That's how America gets away with certain things. Okay. She lures you in and gets you. It says, verse 5, Behold, I am against thee, saith Yahweh of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face, and I will show thy nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. So everybody's now is seeing, is seeing uh, the nakedness of Esau, man. Okay, the, the Lord is lifting up America for what it really is, who they really are, what, what their plans ought to be. And guess what? All the kingdoms hate her. All the nations hate her. All right. Verse six. And I will cast abominable filth upon thee, and make thee vile, and I will set thee as a gazing stock. So everybody's gonna see America once it gets destroyed, not to be what not to be. Okay, because this is this is the whore that 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 uh that sold nations unto her democracy her philosophy that that made other nations drunk off her wine okay let's grab habakkuk chapter two habakkuk two and four it says behold his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him but the just shall live by his faith right his soul who sold esau edom the nation of Esau, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. All right, he's a wicked man. Done to, oh, he was born and made to be wicked. All right, verse five. Yet also because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man. All right, neither keepeth at home who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death. And is as death. Everything this man touches, it dies. Okay? He's deaf. And cannot be satisfied. He was never satisfied. He can't be satisfied with blood. Okay? But gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Okay? Now let's go to an Apocrypha, the book of Baruch, chapter 3. Verse 8. And it says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Okay, so we are still today in our captivity, man. No matter how, what you think or how you feel, we still enslave under this devil. It says, Where thou hast scattered us, the Lord scattered us everywhere. Okay, that was part of the curses. Okay, you want to have Israelites in Africa, Israelites in in Australia, Israelites in China, all over, right? It says, for a reproach and a curse. So we're under curses of Deuteronomy 28. And to be subject to payments, okay? We got to pay bills. We got to pay taxes. That's how we know we're still in, in captivity. According to all the iniquities of our fathers, which we are our fathers, okay? We come back. We, It's called reincarnation. We come back. We are our forefathers. And it says, which departed from the Lord our power, because we made a covenant with the Lord and we broke it. All right. Now, let's go to the fourth chapter, starting at verse four. It says, O Israel, happy are we, for things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known to us. Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved the Most High to wrath. So this is the Lord. The reason why we went through all that slavery, everything from different captivities, you know, from from the Babylonians to the Medes to the Persians to the Greeks to the Romans to the, to today, is because we moved the Most High to wrath. All right, we were, we were serving other idols. We were not serving the Lord. Okay, ye were delivered unto the enemies. So the Lord, 
handed us over to them for our punishment. You know, when you do bad, your father gets the bell and whoop your ass. That's what the that's what the heavenly father did to us. He whooped our fucking ass and humbled us to a, to a crisp to know not to do that shit again. Okay, and when Yahusha comes back, we ain't gonna do that again because we're gonna be under the second covenant. Okay, verse seven. For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils. Okay, we're serving unto different idols, bowing down to them, sacrificing unto them. You know, Molech, and, and and so forth, right? And it says, and not to the Most High, okay? We wasn't reverencing our Father Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We was we was serving everything else but Him. Verse eight, ye have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you, okay? Come on, bro, this is heavy. Verse 9, for when she saw the wrath of the Most High coming upon you, she said, Hearken, O ye that dwell in about Zion, the Most High have brought upon me great mourning. For I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting brought upon them. With joy did I nourish them, but sent them away with weeping and mourning. Okay, let no man rejoice over me, a widow. And forsaken of many, who for the sins of my children am left desolate, because they departed from the law of the Most High, which is talking about us. Okay, we're we're a widow, but now we're getting married back to our Lord Yahweh Shai, because Yahweh Shai is our advocator and our mediator. Um, it's our he's our mediator. He's our mediator to get back to the Father. Okay, he speaks to the Father. We have to go to the son to get to the father. All right. So we could be married back. All right. Verse 13. They knew not his statues, nor walked in the ways of his commandments, nor trod in the paths of discipline in his righteousness. Let them that dwell about Zion come. And remember ye the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting have brought upon them. For he hath brought a nation upon them from far. A shameless nation and of a strange language, as we just read, Deuteronomy 28. It says, Who neither reverence old man nor pity child. Okay, we read that. Verse 16. These have carried away the dear beloved children of the widow and left her that was alone, desolate, without daughters. All right. And it says, But what can I help you? For he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands of your enemies. And that's what's going to happen when Yahweh Shai comes back. All our, our, all our enemies are going to see us. Let's just, grab, let's just grab that real quick. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such that has afflicted him. Right? Esau and all these nations. That have made a, no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, and shall be amazed at the strangers of his salvation, so far beyond all that they look for. Okay, so hey, when we get a hey, Lord willing to be us, we be part of the elect. Hey, when all these nations look up at us, they be like, "Why? Oh, the Negro got beamed up. Oh, he's getting salvation. Yeah, us." Because Yahweh is coming to back save his elect. Alright. So, hey amen. I don't know why hey, Israel can't get through their thick skull, but they soon going to see it, man. Alright. This is not our rest. Wake up. Alright. But with that, Lord willing, this has been edifying. We're going to give all honor and glory and praise to Yahweh. Ba'ashim 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 Y